if you want to experience Shadow of the Earth 3 in the best possible image quality, forgot how you got HDR to work all those years ago, or tried it out for the first time and now have the issue that your HDR output looks like shit, then I will help you fix it. First off, a short explanation what HDR is if it's your first time using and hearing about it. The color output of any modern display can be divided into two categories, SDR and HDR. These two standards are responsible for telling the pixels in your monitor to what color value they should change their light to. The difference between SDR and HDR is that HDR has a much broader color spectrum at its disposal, so that it can actually depict colors on a display like we perceive them IRL. Hence, you need a monitor that supports HDR content if you want to really see true colors on your screen. As such, the gaming experience between using SDR and HDR is night and day as you will see here. Many games nowadays support HDR, but some have issues with this mode. Among which is Elden Ring as its HDR mode is prone to bugs. This bug you see here is that the gamma value of its HDR mode isn't properly communicated to the display. This results in a washed out HDR experience I will help you fix. The thing however is that Elden Ring is probably color coded in game as you can see through this OBS recording. So the issue doesn't lie with the game but how your GPU communicates with your monitor. And the cause for this behavior is that your GPU drivers aren't up to date. As such, in order to fix your HDR settings in Elden Ring, you have to do the following steps. First, if you haven't already done this, activate the HDR setting in Windows for your monitor. The step is the same whether you are in Windows 10 or 11. Just go into Settings, System, Display and there you can see the option to toggle on HDR for a specific monitor that supports it. You can further define how HDR should be handled on this monitor by clicking onto HDR and seeing way more options you can play around with. You can copy my settings as they are perfect for what we try to achieve here. However, do NOT enable Auto HDR. I had issues with this setting and how Elden Ring handles HDR content with it on as well as more issues in other games. To eliminate further potential issues, make sure that this setting is disabled in your Windows settings. Now before installing your drivers, you first might want to make a screenshot of your color settings in the NVIDIA control panel under Adjust Desktop Color Settings if you don't drive the default ones. You might need this later if you install the drivers the way I do. When this is done, go into the software of your GPU to update its drivers. I have an NVIDIA 3080 so for me it's GeForce experience. This step might vary for you if you have an AMD or Intel GPU, but the process is essentially the same. First, check for updates if they aren't already loaded and then you will have the option of either doing an express or custom install. You can do either to install the new drivers, but I will give you an important tech tip you might profit from in the future. Click on custom install so that you get the window for which individual drivers you want to install. You can leave all of them checked, but for my setup I have to uninstall the HD audio drivers. What's important for you here however, is that you check the perform a clean install option. If you don't click this, then with every driver update, counting for express install as well, your system will install drivers on top of drivers upon drivers. And after the 20th time you've done this, you will see some strange graphic bugs on your system. I had this issue 2 years ago and troubleshooting this was a hassle. So save yourself a future headache by installing your drivers clean every time. After checking this option, click install and let the system do its thing. Your screen or screens will go dark during this process, but don't worry, they will turn on after everything is done. And now the drivers are installed. I don't know if I'm the only one with this bug, but after each successful driver install, GeForce experience will hang itself up. You can close this window without worries now if you run into the same bug as me. Before rebooting your system, you first might want to readjust settings in your NVIDIA control panel if you had changed some under the adjust desktop color settings. If you performed a clean install, those have been set back to the defaults. Hence, this is where the screenshot I told you to take earlier comes in handy. Afterwards, reboot your system. After the reboot is done, open Elden Ring and check your HDR settings. However, I also experienced that I had to reboot my system a second time or even shut it down and cut it off from power completely to make it work. So try that if it doesn't work the first time around. When you have opened Elden Ring, go from the main menu into system settings and see whether HDR is toggled on or off. If it's off, then you have to toggle it on once or twice. And if it's your first time using HDR on Elden Ring, then you have to set your screen mode to full screen in order to access HDR settings. Otherwise, HDR is not supported. Afterwards, you should see that the main menu colors look different. As a final test, just load into a save file and if everything done right, you can now play Elden Ring in brilliant HDR. And as you can see, my monitor now displays HDR mode properly. Now if you follow all of my instructions to the T and you still have issues with HDR, then download OBS, set it up to specifically capture Elden Ring's game.exe application and see if the footage is HDR or not. If it is but you still have this issue whilst doing everything exactly as I did, then there's another issue with your setup. 
For example, if you constantly put your system into sleep mode, then you might encounter this issue again even after installing the latest drivers. Or if you use a camera mod for Elden Ring, this could also cause this issue to resurface. In such cases, a simple reboot fixes the issue. <sighs> like so many other IT bugs. If all of this still doesn't help you and you require further assistance with this issue, then write a comment and me or someone else will help you in the spirit of Charlie Corporation. Give this video a like if it helped you so that it gets to the number one spot of search results on YouTube. And others can fix this issue as well and don't have to surf through countless forum posts for a solution. Check out some of my Elden Ring lore content if you want and happy gaming!